Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, I'll show you how to defeat the magma worm on your way up the cliffside to the Altus Plateau. If you want to be an absolute legend and support the channel, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. I'll just show you on the map where this boss is located, so it's on your way up the cliffside. This is the site of Grace just outside the boss fight. There are a couple of NPC summon signs just outside of the boss fog gate. You've got this guy here, and there's also another one just here. I'll show you the setup that we're working with for this fight. We've got two keen scimitars plus eight, a kite shield that we might use. We're also using a flame drake talisman, which boosts fire damage negation. On top of that, we've also got fireproof dried liver, which also boosts fire damage negation. Frost forward slash freeze is quite good against this enemy, so we have some freezing grease to apply to our weapon. And we've also got some freezing pots that we can throw. Okay, so let's jump in to the fight. We can apply our buffs just after we pass the fog wall. So we'll pop the flask, food buff. Uh, we can use the fireproof dried liver, freezing grease. We can also whip out the wolves, although they'll probably get deleted by the lava, but here we go. So it usually opens the fight with this kind of like crawl forward, lava spew, crazy attack. Um, the hitbox on this thing is insane. Uh, so just steer clear of him and just let him do uh, whatever it is he wants to do. Um, he might crawl a few times. He's gone for three so far. Just going to reapply some freezing grease. Uh, but yeah, after he kind of calms down a little bit, we want to be heading towards his back legs. So usually this is kind of the safest place to be, is the uh, sort of like back right and back left legs. This is the sideways spew, so just head on to the opposite side. A few attacks in there. Watch out for that attack. There's quite a delay on that. It's a bit spicy uh, to try and dodge that. You can also use the kite shield to block it. So just keeping by these legs, he's doing the sideways spew. Head on to the opposite side. A few strikes there. He's doing the ground pound. Um, I think he's got slight variations of that sword ground pound where there's one that's more delayed and one that's not so. Uh, this is the sideways spew, just head on to the opposite side. There's the ground pound. A lot of the time by staying by these legs, it tends to delete a lot of the move set that he does and kind of just restricts him to certain attacks like these attacks you see in here. Sideways spew, the ground pound, just head. Uh, for that one, I'm kind of just like heading a bit further behind him to try and get away from the AoE uh, that happens when he uh, smashes the sword into the floor. That's the sideways spew. You can also use that time to rebuff. Get a quick second before the spin to win uh, kind of comes around. So a lot of the time we're just kind of staying by those uh, back legs. That was the kite shield there. And because we're in front of him, you'll now see that his attacks have changed slightly. Um, he also stands on two legs when his health gets to roughly about halfway. Um, so for this phase, it's quite similar, although it gets a bit spicier. Uh, we're going to be applying similar-ish tactics uh, for this phase. That was a bit spicy there, but basically we want to be underneath him and once again just near his legs, essentially. Um... So just kind of like, I'm not locking on. I'm just looking out for certain animations that he might be doing. Where it looks like he's going to do one of his sword ground pounds. That one there, you can just stay behind him and attack the tail. We need to get underneath him again. Because that's where it's quite safe. So what we'll do is um, back up a little bit until the lava has kind of disappeared underneath his legs. And then just run. Watch out for that one because the sword kind of... Uh, swings around so just run away and try and uh, roll through the swing if possible so once again just trying to stay kind of underneath uh, these legs here and underneath the tail just trying to keep my eye on the animations that he's doing uh, not locking on 
So when I can kind of see him, you know, getting ready to smash down his sword into the floor, I'll try and roll a couple of times. Uh, once again, the lava is kind of like taking away our safe uh, spot at this point. So I'm just going to back up, reapply some uh, freezing grease. Can also throw these freezing pots if you do have any. Although it's probably not the best time to throw them in phase two. Probably better in phase one, uh, really, for throwing stuff. But uh, yeah, other than that, just kind of staying in this safe zone. Just attacking every now and again when we can do. Watch out for that attack there. That one's got a bit of a spicy delay on it. Uh, so if you need to heal, just back up. Really good time to heal and reapply your buffs is when he's doing that walking forward uh, lava spew that you just saw there. You need to get back to his safe, to our uh, sort of like safe area underneath him. So we're just going to wait for that lava to disappear and then head back. Watch out for the kind of like spin around on that sword there because it, it comes around quite fast. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're just going to kind of get ourselves back into this position just here. Ended up doing three rolls there for that um, sword slam because, like I say, sometimes um, it's delayed and sometimes it's not. Um, we also just attacked the tail there when he was doing that kind of like walk forward uh, lava spew. We just attacked the tail a few times to uh, finish him off. And other than that, that is the fight. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way. If it did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. You can check out all the other content that I make at azavar.com. 